Hello everyone, welcome back to Golixa. Today we have a very interesting video in which we will discover about the only UN recognized nation in the old which do not have a national football team till this day. Marshall Island, a 10 km long island which is home to 60,000 people located in the Pacific Ocean. Known for its historic association with nuclear testing, this UN recognized nation is now planning to form its very first national football team. The Marshall Islands, once a nuclear weapon testing ground for the US, gained independence in 1986. Now the Marshall Islands are planning not only to create a Marshall Islands national football team, but one that can be competitive globally. At the heart of this ambitious project is Lloyd Wars, an Englishman with a passion for football and a vision to make the Marshall Islands an independent force in global football. It all started with casual conversation between Lloyd Wars and Sam Levi, the president of Marshall Islands Soccer Federation, which was founded by Levi in 2020. These discussions were ignited by Wars, online coaching blogs which caught the attention of the association. Through emails and late-night WhatsApp calls due to the time difference, a vision began to form. Wars was tasked with crafting a proposal and outlining his football philosophy for the growth of the sport in this unique nation. This past summer, Wars traveled over 13,000 km journey to Marshall Islands from England. There, he witnessed the first football session for children organized by the Marshall Islands Soccer Federation. Football is gaining attraction in the Marshall Islands recent day. This is partly due to the growing popularity of the sports in the United States. A national stadium in capital, Majuro, is being constructed, which will be used to play football games on that island. The Marshall Islands Football Federation's dream ignited a global response. Their first football shot, a symbol of their newfound journey, is now making waves across the world. The vibrant design represents the color of the national flag, with patterns reflecting the island's deep connection to the ocean. The target is for the nation of 60,000 people to achieve Oceania Football Confederation OFC membership before ultimately contesting global fixers. The federation wants to be part of the OFC, but also wants to be eventually become a FIFA member. They don't just want to be playing against local countries, they want to be part of the bigger program. They want to be part of the World Cup qualifiers. They want to be part of the OFC championship and part of mainstream football. They believe if they keep going the way the federation wants to push their aims and ambitions, there is no reason that wouldn't happen in 10 years. Thus, they will be competing against local nations who have similar aims, but their objectives long term are a lot bigger than that. They want to be recognized by FIFA and want to be part of the Confederation Games and Olympic qualifiers. Now, the focus shifts to the future. To compete internationally, a competitive squad is essential. Wars plan to scout talent locally and from nearby islands which established football traditions. The goal is clear, to represent the Marshall Islands on the global stage. The Marshall Islands, once a nuclear testing ground, now stand at the beginning of a new era. Through football, they aim to shine light on the pressing issue of climate change while also making their mark in the world of esports. Together, they are on the way on this extraordinary journey, leaving a historic mark on the global football landscape. Thank you all for joining me on this journey of the last country on earth without a national football team. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more football content. And let me know in the comments below what I missed and what we want to see next. That's it for today. Thank you for being a part of our football community here at Golexta. Until next time, keep enjoying the beautiful game. Peace.